You're gonna be sweet. You're gonna be smooth. You're gonna sharpen your gaze, fill up the juice, and sing this mighty song. Small but mighty, small but mighty. When you have posing and spice, you can rise above any size. Small but mighty, small but mighty. When you have posing and spice, you can rise above any size. Hi friends. Today we are doing a very unique tasting of these mangoes and you can already see from the picture that they are very very small <laughs> they're like you know all the four mangoes can fit in one hand so they're not large size mangoes but there's more peculiarity to these mangoes as and i had not collected them in that um, with that intention but they just happen to be like this it turns out that none of these mangoes are from florida so today's mangoes are st maui so it's not saint it's st someone's initials and this is from hawaii and it was sent to florida and it just got popular here in florida and uh, has been propagated here uh, this is felinato i have never had this mango before so it's first time tasting but looks spectacular and you know look at the color it's st maui if you say it's beautiful it turns more vermilion dark maroon color but smaller in size than that valinato comes from colombia and so another is ice cream so another small mango and i found out that this comes from trinidad and supposedly a julie seedling and another is dwarf hawaiian which is not coming from hawaii it turns out it's from puerto rico and maybe it is a julie seedling as well so puerto rico Trinidad, Hawaii, Colombia, none of these are Florida mangoes and still they made it to a plate here in North Miami Beach, Florida. So maybe they had something something superb that they had to come all the way and they have been propagated here in Florida. We got these mangoes from Tropical Acres Farm and we have been eating a few of their mangoes and they all have come out pretty good tasting this year another thing i wanted to tell is first thing first thing to do when you start eating mangoes tasting mangoes down here in south florida is to find out what your taste preferences are because mangoes have many different tastes some are very spicy and super sweet and overwhelmingly um, packed with different taste profiles of different fruit tropical fruits and some are pretty you know, mildly sweet with a classic mango like flavor and some might be very acidic like pineapple flavor to it to end some sweetness to it so find out do a lot of tasting do from different areas and that's the first step to do taste from many different growers find out who is growing locally and join different groups that grow mangoes and go to different nurseries not just one place i know it's very high demand these days everything runs out pretty fast but still if i could get these one and more than an hour i had to drive with traffic one and a half hours to get these you can also get these um, and if you really love you will go for them so we i really wanted to uh, find out because i have never tasted these mangoes like not ice cream we don't grow this one we don't have velinato st maui i finally have a tree and i heard a lot about it but still i haven't tasted it so i don't know and dwarf hawaiian i tasted last year didn't do great justice to it because it didn't look nice on the outside although we could get a hint of what it could taste like so we decided to have a tree for ourselves because we really like the taste profile of dwarf hawaiian so I was telling that, you know, first thing to do would be to taste mangoes from different places, different areas, different times, different year. Second thing which I'm realizing is once I have my own trees is how to know when to pick the mangoes. How to know? Because before I used to just eat mangoes that were picked by somebody else, like either from by Steve at Hidden Acres Mango Farm here in Davie or at Zill's place or at Walter Zill's garden where he would pick or at Tropical Acres. So different places would pick. Uh, we also went to mango men so depending on their own preferences they would pick at different times and mangoes would come to peak ripeness or not come to peak ripeness depending on when they would pick them and i am now learning that as a second step when to know uh, when the mango is ready for picking because i have two groups of uh, 
garden friends here that I'm battling with. Squirrels for sure, everyone knows. And I think they are raccoons because I go, I'm like, okay, my carry is almost ready, one more day and it's like, I say, okay, if, if it stays on tree a little bit, then it would be ready to pick. It's not ready today and tomorrow I come, it's like a smiling carry with all the flesh eaten from inside out and just the skin is left and it's like, okay, I, I missed you hit. It's, it's been like this and I, I think they are raccoons. And there's so much to eat. This is the tree, the strawberry tree up there. It's loaded with fruits. It's not that, you know, we, we have scarcity of food here, but it seems like despite so much of food, we have these, we have Suriname cherries and we have coconuts all the time. Despite this, I see them coming for my carry mango. And I feel like, you know, I can't let those mangoes stay on tree and become beautiful color like this. I have to pick them to a, at a point where it will not start wrinkling, it will not become subpar in, on, in taste, but still will develop color. And I have found out that they do still develop the same color. Angie's and uh, Carrie doesn't develop much, but Angie and Glen has developed same color as it would if it had taste, it stayed on the tree. So it's just about this fine tuning that you have to start uh, learning and I'm doing it by my own experience and it takes some time and I think it's a good learning experience. So having said that, let's start the process uh, we'll start with ice cream mango as i said it's from trinidad small size mango turns color a little bit uh, nice color it's getting here light green yellow and there's no um just uh, no extra fragrance to it Uh, inside it looks doesn't look orange it just look yellow and with a little bit of patch around the seed it looks like a different color I will maybe cut all four at the same time next one next in line is valley natto very nice colored probably an eye catcher don't plant this mango tree outside okay this seems like it has dark uh, darkish orange so a different color than that one dwarf Hawaiian our new favorite of last year not favorite but you know one of the favorites of last year was a dwarf Hawaiian as well a little bit of fiber came along with the skin but it looks like the color is going more intense with dwarf Hawaiian it's becoming orange yellow pale yellow and uh, dark yellow this is orange in dwarf Hawaiian already Estimawi the so much talked about this variety I had to get a tree based on all the talks <laughs> not a good thing to do unless you taste it but you know let's see and maybe this is not the best Estimawi because I will be testing more of it before I decide on the taste. So, ice cream, velinato, dwarf, Hawaiian, and esti Maui. Who should we start with first? Let's, let's do the ice cream. Mm, it does feel like there is spiciness to it, just from the smell of it. Wow. Juicy sweet juicy melting soft and it has some spiciness i like this taste of a mango i like the spicy mango so doesn't have the acidic flavor doesn't have that indo chinese flavor it's just a spicy and sweet mango no fiber completely no fiber it's so small and so sweet and nice i can eat a lot of this in one sitting next is velinato let's see it looks so beautiful from the outside and sometimes beautiful mangoes can be pretty tricky but we don't know there's a bit of a washed out At least compared to ice cream, it doesn't get the same sweetness level. It feels like it's a bit mild. Mm. 
if you want to get the flavor profile i would i would also go it's similar to the ice cream flavor profile not the indo chinese not the classic even i think probably it does go into indian yeah it doesn't have the classic flavor profile i think it goes into the indian west indian flavor profile and uh, with not as much sweetness so does look great outside not so impressive um, taste wise <laughs> sorry i missed something while i was eating the velinato again backstage i uh, figured out one more important detail that this is the skin look at the skin it's it's very very thin almost to the point that actually you could eat the skin as well mm. like a plum look at how thin the skin is and the skin I mean, the skin doesn't have much taste it's a bit spicy but very very thin skin and no no fiber up to the skin but mild taste throughout gets 10 points for this skin alone let's do the dwarf hawaiian and i would like to compare i am keeping this velinato out of comparison because it for me the taste is not as complex but ice cream and dwarf hawaiian i would like to compare them together and see this is more mm, creamy it's more hearty it doesn't melt in the mouth it's almost as if i have to chew because there is some fiber it is a good level of sweetness and spiciness i think they are almost similar to ice cream in flavor but i have to eat them together to see the dwarf hawaiian i ate last year from arun a uh, fruit forum friend was much more spicy than this and i like more spiciness this seems a bit milder in spiciness very sweet as well similar to ice cream but there is a difference because of the fiber you don't feel that melting sensation juicy melting sensation with dwarf hawaiian you see a lot of fibers here coming out that you don't see in the ice cream so if you are someone who doesn't like fibers i think ice cream would be a better choice for you compared to dwarf hawaiian let's see the st maui how it tastes Oh it has some fruit flavor that I can't say. I'm not great in fruit flavors. I'll give it to my wife she's <laughs> she's better in detecting different flu fruit flavors in the mango but I don't know what it is. It is sweet of course it is as sweet as ice cream and dwarf hawaiian. texture doesn't have much fiber i mean it has some by the skin it's pretty good but i i i can't tell what flavor it is really the most interesting flavor was this st maui we both tasted together and it's not like a fruit cocktail it it has a tropical fruit taste to it together with the mango taste um banana maybe Uh, we have to really taste those fruit it's not peach but it's there is some other fruit uh, apricot banana mixture of both um, i don't know but it certainly has a new taste that i didn't have tasted it so that that taste of banana or apricot or this combination taste also gives a little bit of acidity to this flavor so it is a sweet and acidic flavor but it's not the acidity that we are used to seeing in florida mangoes the the flavor almost like those slightly acidic bananas like namwa bananas you know that combined with the regular mango flavor really a unique different uh, tasting mango flavor st maui a little bit of fiber by the skin but otherwise looks like pretty good consistency as well very high sugar content nice looking as well so beautiful look, looking mango with a good unique taste so further eating 
you know, always we eat more and more and we find out, we find a subtle uh, taste in the fruit. This Estimawi is tasting like nectarin now, closer to the skin and around the pit. Yeah, it has a good level of acidity from it. Yeah, it's a very unique tasting mango. I agree. What a fiber in dwarf Hawaiian. I'm tasting the ice cream in dwarf Hawaiian again. And it looks like I would... Uh, the dwarf Hawaiian obviously is richer in taste. It's more complex compared to ice cream. But I wish it has the consistency of the ice cream. The dwarf Hawaiian is very fibrous. Not that it, it has stuck to our teeth like those stringy mangoes, but... A little bit of creaminess would have really been appreciated. We're absolutely against comparison and rating 1 to 10 and saying that this is the best because we uh, we believe in um, coexistence of all different varieties together and having uh, because every different variety has something to offer so you can't really rate. It's the human mind that wants to rate, that wants to compare, that wants to divide. Uh, in nature there is no comparison, there is everyone is beautiful for nature so I but still you know for the sake of uh, fun who comes first I'm uh, Velinato unfortunately was the most beautiful in the look so it could it got the highest points in the looks but in the taste it could not get it uh, and ice cream had moderate looks among all didn't have that colorful look uh, but does have a nice tasting um, flavor that uh, is not as complex compared to Dwarf Hawaiian and Estimawi but it is a good mango overall good high sugar content no fiber at all so you know and I think if you go into the tree size and management of the tree it is a dwarf fish tree as well so um, if you live close to the coast close to the ocean probably it's a good producer as well so uh, and then the real competition was between Dwarf Hawaiian and Estimawi. Estimawi won on the looks because it's beautiful crimson color. Uh, Dwarf Hawaiian, uh, uh, in, inside Dwarf Hawaiian, a lot of fibers. So those who don't like fibers would immediately not like. So it got a little less points on the fiber content. The taste is unique and incomparable between the two. If you like spicy and sweet, Dwarf Hawaiian goes high on your points. If you like a unique tasting mango that has different fruits together combined and not overwhelmingly spicy, Estimawi also goes high in your points. So I think um, that's up to you to decide. Go and grab one and find out what you like. Small but mighty, small but mighty when you have buzzing and spice, you can rise above any size. Small but mighty, small but mighty when you have buzzing and spice, you can rise above any size.